uh, only off late. Yeah, Sadi, stay with us because you mentioned Monica. We're going to bring her in. Uh, this is, of course, uh, going to give us a bit more insight in terms of this market and, and the dynamics that are at play here. Monica, too, is the founder and director of the Black Diamonds Group, and she joins us now from Los Angeles. Monica, always great to see you. And, you know, I, I guess the question is to you, why has this uh, really, in a lot of ways, extraordinary property been on the market for so long? Why has it been hard to find the right buyer? I think uh, uh, it's been in the market. Actually, not a true. It's not a really on the market. It, we just open up for the international buyers to come to experience this incredible penthouse. The um, in the, the past few probably years, and the property is not really properly marketed. It's only purely through the database. You are the first actual media, to be honest, to expose this property to the world. That's probably the reason. But mainly due to the pandemic, so people are not able to come to enjoy the lifestyle of the Crown. And the Crown, we're sending this amazing penthouse, it's not just by square meters, it's about lifestyle. If you are not able to travel to experience a lifestyle, obviously it's really hard to sell. But now we're open. So we're op open to all the international buyers. Uh, Monica, you are in Los Angeles at the moment. Uh, is it related to the sale of this property? Are you looking for buyers, American buyers for this property? Yeah, absolutely. You know, you know as your guys know, so all the international uh, superstars stay in the Crown. Taylor Swift stayed there during her concert. Now Mark Warburg stay in the Crown. So this, you know, you cannot find anything, you know, compared to this amazing penthouse. Hopefully, we can find some of the American celebrities to come and enjoy this lifestyle, and hopefully, we we'll buy it. And uh, Monica, normally when we look at Australian property market, it's mostly dominated by houses, land and house purchases. This is a um, penthouse on the 81st floor. Uh, why? What makes it unique? Why would anybody pay 59 million US dollars when they are not getting land with it? Oh, I think if you want the land, obviously you can buy some amazing houses in Sydney, in Australia. But this is not about buying a land. This is buying a lifestyle. So Crown is actually uh, is an amazing six-star resort. Look at the, you know, the picture now. You have your private pool. You have a tennis court in the middle of the city. So we have 11 bars and restaurants. And some of the movie stars wouldn't name who that is. They stay in the houses. Yes, we do have a gym. We do have a swimming pool. But you don't have the service, right? You don't have like 11 bars and restaurants provide you that five-star service and 24 hours concierge. The reason people will buy the penthouse is definitely because of the lifestyle. Monica, we've spoken to you many times over the past few years, and I know you've built your business really with these ultra high net worth Chinese clients. Can you tell us what does your client book look like at the moment? Is there a big shift away from China? Uh, I wouldn't uh, say it's a big shift. We still have a lot of like a really wealthy Chinese clients, and they probably um, you know born in China, live in China, migrate to Australia or other part of the world. And uh, at the moment, we have a lot of attractions from Southeast Asia. So our biggest market will be you know my number one buyers are from Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, and of course Singapore is uh, one of the big sources of our clientele. That's actually quite interesting. What are those clients looking for when it comes to Australia? And uh, do you see it as a challenging environment in terms of foreign property investors? I think uh, compared to the rest of the world, I think Australia is still the most uh, desirable destinations for uh, Southeast Asian and Chinese buyers. Uh, the challenge is probably a uh, little bit extra of stamp duty. The otherwise, you know. Australia is probably the safest okay. country and the best, best of the best lifestyle for the international buyers. Monica, by when are you expecting to make this sale? By when do you think this property will be sold? As soon as possible. <laughs> Hopefully within a few months. <laughs> so we think 2024, you're confident? 
I'm, I'm super confident. You know, we in the first quarter we really met our target, and now we, you know, enable to travel around the world to promote Australian properties. Yeah, hundred percent confident.